You want to take it down a notch? You heard Laura's doctor. She's probably well enough to go home today. Yeah, and what is she going to go home to? That's what I want to know. Oh, okay, so this mood is about Leo? With good reason, don't you think? Look, I know he took off yesterday. I'm not overreacting, Edmund. Leo was leaving Laura. How do you know that for sure? Because when you called the condo and you told me that Laura was in the hospital, I found a goodbye letter from him to her, along with his wedding ring. Really? Yes. You didn't read a note addressed to Laura, did you? <laughs> Don't judge me about that, all right? You saw the state that she was in. Does Laura know about this? No, because Leo came back before I had to say something to her. You're on shaky ground here, you know that. I think we're all on shaky ground because Leo has shown that he cannot be trusted. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa. Don't put it all on Leo, all right? Especially the way that Laura's been carrying on. What? Well, I mean, he can't breathe either. No wonder he decided to bolt. I can't believe what you're saying. You're blaming Laura? Look, Brooke, I'm not blaming anyone, okay? It's just... Leo and Laura, they, they kind of got married under trying circumstances. Uh, yes. Yeah? And Leo is supposed to be sensitive to that. He is. He is? Yes. And is this how he shows it? Even happy couples. Couples who've been together for years. They, they, they go a little crazy when one of them's hospitalized near death. He's trying to work it out. Well, what are you saying by that? That Laura isn't? No. Brooke. Le Laura is able to think about herself. Leo isn't. Give the guy a break. I have been trying to do that. Okay, well, keep it up. You're doing a great job. Really, who else is he gonna turn to? His mother? He's got a new job, a fragile new wife. This is all new to him. He chose it. Yes, he did. He chose it. He chose it. And he does not get any credit for this. I think he's doing the best he can. Is he? I think so. What if he runs away again and he doesn't come back? You will. Okay. If you give him some space to breathe, okay? Just don't make him feel trapped. Well, Edmund, which is it? You know, I'm supposed to hold his hand or I should give him some space? You're smarter than that. You gotta give him both. He needs it just like everybody else. I just don't want Laura's heart broken. Don't you think you have made that perfectly clear to Leo? It's their marriage, Brooke. They'll come to you if they need help, okay? I just, I so hate it when you're right. You should be used to that. Just shut up. <laughs> so will you tell, will you tell me something? Did you ever feel trapped? I mean, trapped like Leo? I'll tell you this, um... You never made me feel trapped. Not once. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> you know what? I left, um... I left a gift in the car for them. I brought it back from Switzerland. You want to go to the car and get it and we'll sure. give it to them? I mean, that's, that's supportive, what? right? You know, a gift, what, what? Souvenirs, a housewarming gift, that's... As long as it's not hideous. Laura? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Why are you going through the trash? What are you looking for? Honey, it's something. I, um, I saw something. Whatever it is, we'll help you find it. Uh, no, it's it's nothing. I, I saw someone throw one of my magazines away, and I hadn't finished looking through it. Honey, I can get you more magazines. You don't have to go through the trail. Oh, it's, it's not no rush. Well, I got your your eyes for you. Yeah. Thanks. Good. I, I'm I'm dry. 
Well, let's go back to the room. Yeah, come on. Probably Dr. Martin should be back with your test results, right? What's with the package? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you when you get settled. Get yourself in bed there. Oh. On the rocks? Perfect. So I guess we'll just wait for the lab. Is everything okay with uh, you guys? Yeah. We, uh... We're talking about marriage. Oh? Yeah. We decided to make some changes. We're going to give each other more space. Let each other be free to be ourselves. Isn't that right? Don't bother reading it. I'll tell you what it says. We'll both tell you. You first. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear Laura, you are so pathetic and needy. Like the Bermuda Triangle of need. Too true. <laughs> Too true. Uh, I feel sorry for you, but I'd rather be at work than listen to you whine. Especially now that I'm working with Greenlee. <laughs> <laughs> if you can call it work. <laughs> so, so what's this, Leo? Are you leaving me? No. Are you... If I did that, I'd lose my job at Temple. Oh, we can't have that. No. This is the perfect setup. You and me and a little nookie at the office. While <laughs> well, your boring little wife sits at home in socks. Works for me. Me too. What about you? Laura? What? Hey. Do you want to open the present or should I have? Oh, I'll do it. Mom, what's this for? Um, guilt. What? Yeah, she couldn't go to Switzerland and uh, leave without getting you something. I, I took a chance. I'm warning you. What is it? It's a clock. I couldn't resist. I hope it doesn't drive you crazy. <laughs> that was... Hmm. Well, I think the cuckoo clock was a bust. Laura's got a lot of things on her mind. You know, I just wish she would open up to me. Hey, didn't we talk about you stepping back? I'm trying. Okay, let me help you. Okay. Tell me about Interpol. What'd you learn in Switzerland? Well, uh, they have put together a profile on Proteus. And? And it's obvious that he is manufacturing some of the drugs himself. He has clinical and scientific expertise, and he has a working knowledge of the law. Hmm. Any reason why he chose Pine Valley as a distribution center? Connections. So he's working close to home. Anything else? Yeah. They said that we should look for somebody in the medical profession as a possible cover. So we're looking for a doctor. A lot of money. No scruples. Know anybody who fits that description? David Hayward is not Proteus. How can you be sure? Oh. Come on, Brooke. You think you know everything we just know about no, somebody? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But obviously, you know more than you're telling me. You Come do. On. You do. You do. Because you seem to know about Proteus being based here even before I said anything. So, do you have somebody undercover? And don't tell me that you're protecting your sources either, because we're working on this together. Not anymore. This is my story from now on. What? Yeah. What do you mean you? Oh, are you cutting me out you of this? You can work background. I'll be in the field. Well, why? Why is this too dangerous for a woman? It's too dangerous. Period. Ready? Uh, yeah, we're all set. Okay, so I'll bring her on the car, and uh, we'll meet in the front. I'll tell her. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? Sorry. Great. If you came here to cause trouble, it's too late. She's already been released. Hey, I have my own reasons for being here. Mm-hmm. I'll bet. You know, the whole world doesn't revolve around you and Laura. 
Other people have lives, too. Mm-hmm. Have you found one yet? Leo. I thought you went to get the car. I did. It's out front. I'm waiting for Laura. I guess, uh, she's still saying her goodbyes. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. Uh, listen, Brooke, I need a favor from you. I had a talk with Laura. And I think that we're in a place now where we can, you know, look around and catch our breath and see what's ahead of us. Leo, I want you to be honest with me. Do you think that you have a future? Definitely. But it could work two ways. Either the marriage works or I end up at Oak Haven. What do you mean? I just... Laura's driving you crazy? Yeah, well, I need a little downtime. Because this, this together 24-7 thing is so not working for me. Well, what do you want? I just want you to free me up a little. You know, so that I can focus at work without having to worry about Laura all the time, whether or not she's taking her meds and whether or not she's dealing with all the daily crud that piles up. What do you suggest? Bring Zora back for day watch. You really think Laura's gonna go for that? Well, I'm not if I suggest it, but if you do, she might. Oh, Leo, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm not so sure it's a good idea. Leo, it's not that I don't know what you're saying. I, I just don't want to give Laura the wrong impression. What are you talking about? What impression is that? That we don't trust her to take care of herself. Well, the question is, do you trust her to do just it's that? It's not a matter of trust. It's just that I would feel better if we could bring Zora back just for a little... Babysit, Laura. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, that's what it sounds like. Look, we both know how cool Zora is, don't we? She'd be great for Laura right now. Uh-huh, and if we recommend to Laura that, you know, she needs an in-house caregiver... You'd be doing her a favor. Really. Laura spent more time in this hospital broke than I have on a golf course. That is not funny. Well, it's not a tragedy either, but it could be if, uh, you know, you don't lighten the load here for everybody. I think that Laura has made a great deal of progress. Brooke, I'll tell you something. You weren't here yesterday when Laura had her meltdown. I mean, she was bouncing off the walls because Leo was missing. All right, fine, but she's she's calm now. She is the bipolar opposite of calm, and that level of stress is toxic. Now, if she doesn't get some relief, you know, I don't... Listen, pray. thank goodness I found you. What is it, Tori? Well, it's your wife. She's down the hall shouting for you. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm sorry I caused such a scene. Really? Emma, I told you to stay away from my wife. Back off, Leo. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, like I believe a word you'd say. Leo, she's right. Greenlee didn't do anything to upset me. Well, what, why were you shouting? Because I'm so happy. I had to share the good news with Leo. What good news? The good news about your new job, how the two of you are going to be working together at Enchantment. Leo, I am so proud of you. have to keep it a secret. I mean, I'm not going to flip out or anything. You and Greeley are going to be a great team at Enchantment. Gee, as far as I knew, Leo already has a job at Tempo. Oh, well, he can timeshare. I mean, Greeley makes it sound like it's an offer he can't well, refuse. Well, if it's such a great offer, why the hell did you run up past her and not me? I... Now, you did it to mess with her head, right? Get her all bent out of shape? Oh, great. Leo, I'm totally cool with this. I mean, it sounds like a good deal. No, She's no, no, it's bull. There is no job, is there, Greenlee? You just made this whole thing up to, to, to cause trouble, am I right? Greenlee, you wouldn't do that, would you? Tell him that the job offer is real. It's real, all right. So, when were you gonna run this by me? I didn't have the chance. Well, you had a chance about 10 minutes ago, right here. But the timing wasn't right. Because you had to dump all over Laura first, right? You knew that I wouldn't cross the street with you. Forget working with you. You know. Don't turn her down before you know what she's offering. Really tell him everything you told me. Don't leave anything out. If I told you what really went down, you wouldn't believe me.
this picture proves I'm being watched closely. It's only a matter of time before Proteus figures out you and I are working together. When I saw how close these people can get to us, how they set Rosa up, how scared I am for my family. I don't know, it's... It's wrong to drag you into this. You know, Maddie and Sam are safe, and it's gonna stay that way. My next move is to push Rosa out of danger and do whatever I can to protect Haley and our son. I'm gonna keep a record of everything that goes down and decide how to play this out. But until then, I don't wanna see your face until this is over. I mean it. All right? One family at risk is already too much. on me the news about you two working together. Yeah, well, she didn't do it to make your day, believe me. True. But the weird thing is, Greenlee knows how to push my buttons, but it's up to me whether or not to react to it, right? Right. And it's like you always said, don't let Greenlee run my life. Well, it's what she wants, but I'm not gonna play her little game. Laura? Is this for real? Totally. Mom? Leo, I owe you guys such a major apology. I should just run a billboard with a big I'm sorry on Honey, it. Honey, it's okay. You don't owe us an apology. Mom, please. I have been such a spoiled, out-of-control brat. I need professional help. You mean, like a shrink? Yeah. I've got a name. And I'm thinking of also talking to Dr. Hayward about whether or not I'm having a gonzo reaction to my medication. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do you guys think? I think you're amazing. I want this marriage to work, Leo. I want to have fun again. And I want to thank you, Greenlee. What for? You offered Leo this opportunity, and you gave me a chance to prove I can be the kind of person he needs me to be. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. She'll think something. Count on it. Mom, you wait here while I, while I go and make that appointment? Yeah, sure. And Leo, you and Greenlee can work out the new terms of your partnership. Are you sure this is all right? Yeah. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. Could you wait for me by the elevator? I think I left the clock you bought me from Switzerland in my room. <laughs> you, know, you want? I could get it for you. No, you know, actually, I, I could use the minute just to regroup. Are you okay, Laura? Yeah, just not as together as I'd like to be after that scene with Greenlee. She still gets to you. Yeah, but I'll get over it. You know, honey, um, I think it's great the way you're dealing with everything, and for what it's worth, I'm, I'm really, I'm very proud of you. All right, uh, I'll meet you by the elevators. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> oh, damn you, Greenlee. <sighs> Thanks to you, I'm never gonna know what Leo wrote in that letter. Mom, do you know, was Greenlee in here? 
alone? You think Greenlee came in here and smashed this clock? Mom, I don't know anybody else who hates me this much. I don't know. I mean, I hope it's not true. I just, she scares me so much, and this is so sad. Well, it could have been a nurse or a maintenance worker who came in and broke it accidentally, and just they were afraid to report it. Yeah, yeah, you're probably yeah. right. I don't know why I just said that about Greenlee. I think you're just a little emotional, and it's, uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, maybe I should see that shrink after all. I think it would be really good for you. I do, honey, to talk to somebody. You know, you've been through a lot. I just, I just want to go home. Well, great, I've got the car outside, so let's go. But let me just try one more time to set up an appointment with a psychiatrist. I'm so proud of you, Laura, I really am. Thank you. I'm just trying really hard to do the right thing. I'll meet you back here. You got it. Okay. Probably a good call. So how'd it go with Greenlee? Well, the same. She doesn't listen. So where have you been? I did what I said I would do. I went and talked to the psychiatrist. You already saw him? Well, I just had an introduction and, uh, yeah, I just told him some of the things I'm thinking about. So what did he say? You're not going to believe this. He agrees with Greenlee. What? Yeah, he says I'm acting crazy, but it's because of my meds. Really? He said this after just a first consultation with you? Mom, I ran him down the list of my whole drug protocol. Mm -hmm. I told him about my bad experiences on ecstasy back when I was a loser, and he says that it's very possible that that's contributing to me feeling weird and acting nuts. I don't know about you guys, but I was relieved. So, he's gonna... Consult with David and have him change your dosages and stuff? Sure. Yeah, he said he was going to get right on that. Maybe that's great. Oh, really? 